Not everybody thinks about the colon or large intestine when they're considering their overall health, uh, but it is a very important organ in the digestive process. Its main function is to absorb water, and this is very important in maintaining balance in our body with fluids, electrolytes, and minerals. Its other uh, function is as a storage reservoir uh, for holding and eventually expelling toxins from the body. Uh, maintenance of these processes, uh, as well as avoiding colon disease, is important in our overall good health. The most important thing to consider in our goal of maintaining a healthy colon is dietary intake. Choosing food from plant sources, such as fruits and vegetables, maximizing our fiber intake, and minimizing high-fat foods all have well-established benefits. Other high-protein foods, such as Poultry, soy, eggs, and bean also have well-established benefits and are good alternatives to red meat. More recent studies have shown a benefit uh, in dietary intake of calcium and vitamin D in lowering our colon cancer risk. Drinking plenty of water aids not only in the function of the colon, but also in other organ systems of our body. Maintaining a healthy colon is within your control. The importance of physical activity and controlling obesity have significant impact on colon health. Even smoking cessation has been shown to lower our risk of colon cancer. Probably the most important measure we can take is routine medical screening. We can generally identify people with colon diseases or risk factors with a few simple questions and blood tests. Your doctor may ask you if you've had any change in your bowel habits or any signs of bleeding. Family history of colon cancer is also an important consideration. Colonoscopy is the most versatile and complete tool we have and is generally well tolerated by most people. By uh, performing a few of these simple measures and maintaining a healthy colon, we can aid our digestive process and avoid potentially serious colon problems such as diverticulitis and colon cancer.